Okay, so this morning <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about my chicken tractor um, because we will not use the chicken tractor after tomorrow. Um, these meat birds are going to freezer camp, is what we call it, the nice way. And so we won't use this again for another six months or so. So this chicken tractor I built. Um, I had shoulder surgery back of four months ago and I knew I needed to hurry up and get this chicken tractor built before my chicks hatched. And uh, so I did this a lot with, with one good arm and one not so good arm. But anyway, so this chicken tractor is um, 10 feet wide by, I think it's 12 feet long um, and is made out of scrap stuff that I just have here around the place. Um, I'm not in for spending a whole lot of money. So this door actually was given to Sarah <laughs> because they fellow took it off of something else that he had and he was going to throw it away. So Sarah took it and it's built out of pipe. So if you see around the bottom here, let's go to this side. If you see around the bottom ground here is four inch conduit that someone gave me. Um, drain pipe. And so that's on both of the sides. And on the ends is pallet wood. And you'll learn about me with pallet wood. Um, I make all sorts of things out of pallet wood. We go and get the big pallets. They're five foot tall by 12 feet wide. And um, I tear them apart and build things with them. So then I've got some Let's see if you can see it here. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is concrete wire. So your contractors will put this concrete wire. When they pour their concrete, it makes it stronger. So a fellow gave me um, a piece of a roll of it several years ago, and um, I've just never done much with it. We did make Sarah a hoop house um, with it, and it worked out so well. So I said, you know what? I think I'm going to build a chicken tractor. So I've got this as the frame and then on the top I've got a piece of PVC pipe that's running from end to end here to kind of hold the concrete wire up um, and then I've got the frame on the back to kind of support the concrete wire and then I've got a piece of guttering it's just a 10 foot piece of guttering um, on the back and I've got it screwed onto the frame. So when I pick the chicken tractor up, um, the guttering goes with it, obviously. And I've got my light source here. Um, I've got one light, hanging light there. And then I've got two lights on the front up there. And that just gives them a little bit of light so they can see to eat. We want these chickens to grow kind of fast. And so, um, well, it's their breed to grow kind of fast. And so I keep a light on them 24-7 so that they're eating 24-7. Um, back to the tractor. Uh, I was in Goodwill. I'm a, I'm a thrift store junkie. Um, we call it going junkin'. <laughs> um, but I was in Goodwill one day and I found a whole roll of what they call hardware cloth. Um, and that's this stuff right here is the small little squares. The only thing is plastic. Um, now I've had plastic chicken wire before and it's lasted a couple of years with the sun eating it up and whatnot. Uh, I think I paid $13 for a whole roll. And so it, it that's very cheap. Um, makes a very cheap chick, chicken tractor. And so I've got that covered all the way around. Um, trying to get out of the sun here. And then I've got a piece of tarp over the top of it to waterproof it. 
So it's only rained twice since I've hatched these birds out and it hasn't been a monsoon. So that's been great. Um, they don't get wet and their food don't get soggy, even though I do wet the food down, it's like a mash, but their food doesn't get watery so that they won't eat it. Um, and just some reinforcements here. Uh, got a hand truck here, that's how I, I move it. Um, and then I've got, on the back here, I've got two little wheels, nothing fancy, just some stuff that I had laying around. And um, so I got a wheel on each side on the back back here. Makes it very, very easy to, to move, even as big as this thing is. This thing is probably six, about six foot, because I think that door there is six, eight, and it sticks up above it um, about eight inches. So I'm thinking it's about six foot. I wanted to make it kind of tall because my helpers who help me kill these birds, <clears throat> um, they're six foot tall, and they don't want to be stooping over into a short little coop to try to catch chickens and then bump their heads. So it's plenty big. Um, got plenty of room in the in the top up there. So I'm going to show you how I move this chicken tractor. Now, I'm not a real big person, um, but it's very easy to move. And I just fed the chicks. So um, they're all at the front. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but they're, they're all at the, at the front. They're all eating because they're always hungry. So I'm gonna set this down, hopefully, and be able to show you how I move it. I'm gonna put it in the shade over here. And I only move it just about one chicken tractor length, just enough to get them out of the poo and get them onto fresh grass. So I'm gonna set this down and hopefully be able to capture this. I'm doing this by myself, so. Bear with me. Okay. I think we're okay there. Yeah. All right, bear with me. Okay, I hope you were able to see that. Um, so, I've moved it a whole length. And you see here, I've got um, all of the, the mess that they walk in and poop. And so now we're gonna look inside and we have fresh grass. Now, I did not move it fully because right here is where their trough was. So I don't know if you can see, but there's some uh, crumbles still left here on the ground. So they'll clean that up. Um, so I'll move it again in about an hour or so, and they'll have fresh grass all the way through. But see, there's already one cleaning it up. So they're really good about cleaning up their messes, so to speak, cleaning up the food. And I just wanted to show you how I move the, the chicken tractor. Um, I move it all over my yard. I move it every day so that they can have fresh grass. So it's almost like free range chickens, um, except they're covered and they're protected from the varmints. 
So anyway, that's that segment. And uh, in the morning, they're all going to camp. So I wanted to show you the, the tractor before they, before I quit using it for six months. Thanks very much for watching.